what's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Speakers Lab. The gang is back. Hey, we're back here, guys, with 55 days till max. Actually, we got 54 by the time you guys are seeing this, but that's not what it's about today, dude. It's about the new troops that are coming to the game. You guys heard about them yesterday. They're called Super Troops. And actually, like, when I first heard that, I was thinking, that's kind of a corny name, right? Like, Super Troops? Yeah, dude, it actually makes perfect sense because the more I learn about it, like, seriously, an hour ago, I didn't really know much about it, but I got into the developer build here because, you know, Clash lets us get this when they're when they're doing sneak peeks they give it to us youtubers so we can show it to you guys and i've been messing around with it and i completely get it why it's called super troops because guys it's a troop made super i'm sorry I, I gotta make this sound a little cooler i'm not really selling this to you guys but look it is really cool guys you go up here you click on this little sauna up here which i guess is a sauna dude i've been to finland with supercell they're into saunas yeah i can't say i'm into saunas like i don't want to be hot i I mean, like, I'm wearing a t-shirt in the winter. I don't want to be hot, you know? All right, guys, so one thing that you may have noticed at the, at, at the beginning there on the little sauna thing. Oh, by the way, Lulu's not here today. She's fine. She's downstairs. We did a video already today, so I don't want to make her sit up here all day. But guys, over here, you can see active time, seven days. What's up with that? I mean, normally you would see upgrade time, not active time. And basically, guys, this is a temporary upgrade, which... I'm not sure if they're, they're ever gonna sell me on that. The fact that you pay for something and then you don't get to keep it is kind of got me feeling weird about this, right? Like, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. This reminds me way back in the day, guys, you used to have to pay for traps and there were way, way back in the day, there were dark elixir traps and they were not even that expensive, but it was dark elixir. You didn't want to waste it on traps. And this sort of reminds me of that in a different way. Obviously this is, this is probably better, but guys, Basically, you spend money, you get your troops into super troops. And of course, you know, right now, the only one we're talking about is the super barbarian. Hopefully there's more, but we don't know yet. But guys, all we're going to do is make them super for a week. Anyway, is it going to be worth it? We'll let you guys decide that. But before we, we decide anything, guys, let's go into, uh, well, I guess we'll press that try button. I think it takes you to like a practice map and we'll try them out. And really, I mean, you can tell they're just like the ones in the builder base. You know, you get the ones in the builder base. They're the angry barbarians. I just got, I, I don't know what they're really called. They, I call them angry barbarians because for the first eight seconds, they're angry and they move faster and they hit stuff harder. So that's what it's going to be like over here. Okay, dude, this is kind of a fun base because like, <laughs> look, there's like, I don't know, half of the defenses that you would normally have, maybe less, and, and, the, and the heroes are level one, but we don't have heroes either. So it's kind of a good example of, you know, what, what we're gonna be using. And by the way, guys, you know what the coolest thing about this update is, or this stuff, it's available at Town Hall 11 and up. And so that doesn't count all of you guys. Some of you guys are Town Hall 10, nine, eight, seven, you know, I get it, but I'm just glad that this isn't only Town Hall 13 because that's, you know, you guys aren't a big fan of that. I'm not a big, I mean, I get it. It's fun when I get new things, but when, you know, it, it's more fun when we all get new things, you know? Cool. So anyway, guys, on another note, I thought when I first heard about these, I assumed that one barbarian was one, like one space. That is not the case. Look, cause, cause you guys can see how we, we have 55 of them right now. We had 56, they're big. They're like, they're like actually the size of a giant. So you can think about these more like a giant. They're, they're five, five troop spaces. So they're, they're like five normal barbarians, but dude, one of these things, I would take one of these over five normal barbs any day of the week, any day of the week. Like they got real good uh, hit points. They, they do good damage and they got that angry barb thing. So cool. Let's go. Um, I'm going to do a little swarm here. This is, this is really fun when you do this. Uh, what else should we do here? You know, I should probably take these out. Let me do this. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that. But keep in mind, guys, that was like 30 troop spaces I just dropped. Like, that was a lot. All right, here we go. Just <laughs> Look at him go, dude. Let me zoom in on it. Look, they're just so sick. And that's not even that many. So let's get the rest in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop them slow. I'm going to drop them slow because I, I kind of do that in the builder base. If any of you guys use the barbs over on the builder base, you do the same thing. Um, you drop them slow. Hey, can we get any into the town hall? Let's try to do that. Let's try to do that. I would really like to do that. Oh, crap. I think I messed it up. Yep. Town hall's coming out to play. Not good. Not good. Okay. So once that goes down, let's see here. Um, no, no, no. Why wouldn't you go to the town hall? There we go. There we go. Dude, we're getting this town hall right now. I am killing you town hall and there's nothing you can do about it. Boom. Yes. 
Okay, I didn't know if they were going to be good enough to do that. But guys, I honestly think that they are... What was this? I got two iPads here. It's confusing. <laughs> Uh, I honestly think that these guys are going to be like miners. They're going to be like a cross between miners, barbs. I mean, they don't go underground, so maybe not a miner. They're more like a giant barb combo, right? They got the health of a giant, but they do the damage of a barb, and they're as big as a giant. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a little bit of everything. And for that reason, I have no idea what they're going to be used for, <laughs> right? Like, who's going to use these things? At, at the beginning of this, when I heard that there was going to be a super barb, I assumed, and probably like a lot of you guys did, that it was just gonna be a better barb. You know, it was gonna be one space still, but it was gonna be better. And maybe that wouldn't work. Maybe that would make the game imbalanced. I don't know. So they clearly, you know, they made the bar better, but they also made it bigger. So it takes up five times as much space. So essentially we have a new troop that we rent for a week and we call it super. I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. I I'm all for it. I'm not like saying I'm not for this at all. It's dope. It it's always good to have new angles of the game. And this is interesting because it's not just, okay, here's another troop or here's another barracks. They even could have made it. Well, they essentially did make another barracks, but it's totally different. You know, it's not a normal barracks where you train troops and you call it like, oh, it's like the ice elixir barracks. Dang. They'll steal that idea clash. If you're making ice elixir, I got dibs. Uh, you need to give me some for free. Ice elixir would be sick, dude. What, you chop it up into blocks and like, you? yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Okay, cool. We'll get to that later. But for now, guys, you wanna do this again? Hey, actually, before we go do anything again, guys, let's look at the stats here. Hopefully this doesn't come unplugged. Um, okay, so, man, I miss Lulu being up here. This is like, we got a, we got a water cup there and Lulu's water bowl, which she refuses to drink out of because she can't flip it. But uh, we miss you, Lou. She's downstairs, she's fine. So anyway guys, look at the stats here, you can see. I also like in the background of the super barb, there's like the skull icon of the super troops. That's a sick icon. I like that. I wish Beaker's Lab had a sick like, I mean, would it make sense to have Beaker's Lab have a skull icon? No. Maybe like a bunny skull with like bunny ear, maybe. But guys, uh, either way, it's a dope icon. Okay, so like we said guys, they're like stat wise, they basically hold up to, they're not even as good as giants. That's the thing, but they do more damage. They have less health than giants. They have the same amount of health as like a hog rider, right? But they do good damage. They honestly do good damage. 180 uh, damage per second or 200 or whatever it's gonna get to at the max level, that's good. Okay, so yeah, even a max hog rider probably does less damage than this barb guy's gonna do. So hey, it's cool. And by the way, guys, this is the developer build. They could change some of the stuff, you know, so you don't like count on these stats being exact, but you're always gonna hear YouTubers saying that because that's what they tell us. Like they're changing stuff up until the end sometimes and that's fine. But overall, I think it's gonna be like a hog rider that can't jump walls or like a miner that can't dip walls. So like, uh, what are we gonna use it for? You know, you've already got a hog rider. You've already got a giant. You've already got a miner. What is the purpose of the barb? Hmm. I don't know. You guys know, uh, maybe some of you guys don't know this, but when the hog riders first came into the game, they didn't go for defenses. They just went for any building and they were bad. <laughs> so I guess we got to think about that. Like if this super barb doesn't end up being super useful, man, I'm not trying to make that super, super joke, but, um, if they don't end up being super useful, maybe they'll make a cool change with them. You know, you can always count on that. Like if something is is not working, I do believe that uh, that Clash makes the adjustments needed. So cool. Let's keep the hope. Let's keep the faith. Uh, guys, why don't we go back and try them again? We, we haven't really done any single player maps. I think we should do that. Those are kind of fun. I love doing those with like sneak peeks and stuff because I never do them normally. So let's go. Okay, I hope we have some spells. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> This is cool. So we can use uh, we can use the heroes this time. That'll probably be necessary. I don't have any freeze. Well, I have one freeze, but there's like 10 infernos here. How many infernos are on here for real? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I count that right? I think so. Cool. That's cool. I wish you could do that, man. I wish they made bases like this. You know, if you guys ever played uh, Boom Beach. Anyway, they had these raid things in Boom Beach where all of your clan would attack one base. I wish they had that in Clash. They could make a giant base like this, but even harder, and we could all attack it, everybody in your clan. Be sick. All right, guys, let's go over here. Okay, I'm gonna drop this right here so I can take out that one Inferno, and then we're gonna drop everybody else. Uh, let's do that to tank. Here we go. <laughs> wait, 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 what did I just do? 
Oh man, they're pretty crazy. What? What? Okay, let's drop a heal spell, guys, because... Okay, this is a good example of these things. Hey, something's blocking it on my screen. Okay, yeah, this is a good example of these things, guys, because look, they have incredible health, and if you keep them going, which we are clearly here, if you keep heal spells down and stuff, they might hold their own. They might really hold their own. I think it, it, it owes a lot of its, its success to that first eight seconds. So just like on the builder base, the first eight seconds of the angry barbarians on the builder base, they do, they're like, they're in a rage spell. You know, they go faster, they hit harder. Uh, I think that's it. They don't have more health or anything, do they? No, I don't think so. But either way, they're better for the first eight seconds. And that's kind of interesting. It's almost like the, uh, you guys remember the Royal Ghost? It was like, when was that? It seems like it was a, a year ago, but it wasn't. We had the Royal Ghost where they were invisible for the first eight seconds or 10 seconds or something. It's kind of cool. You can do some cool things with troops that do that. So, hey, I don't know what to think, guys, but if I had to guess, I would think that these would be really good for clearing corners, for, for taking out town halls that are like towards the edge. Because again, for those first eight seconds, they're going hard. And you know, I think the bad thing is these are not a giant. They don't have as many hit points as a giant. Uh, they do more damage, but they, they are not as tanky. So there is some some pros and cons there for sure. Uh, but hey, man, it's interesting. It's super interesting that like this is the way we're going to get new troops, you know? I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I, I do like the idea of having a, a normal, traditional new troop, but maybe this is gonna be, maybe this is gonna, and plus we don't know what's coming next, dude. What? It, what's next? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, dude, now that I remember this base, this is the base that has like a billion traps all around the outside. It's like covered in spring traps. Watch this, this is gonna be great. Yep. uh-huh. Oh wait, dude, they can run fast enough to get past them. Oh, that's awesome. That's a good plus for these things, guys. If they're moving fast, they can run over spring traps. It's gonna be huge. If that in fact works consistently, that, that'd be so awesome. Okay, so I think I am gonna do king. I'm gonna try to bust open some walls here. I'll probably do the queen too. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We better just get going, dude. Let's get going. Woo! <laughs> This is so wild. All right, guys, this is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna drop a heal spell, I guess, because we got so many of them. We also got a jump spell, but I feel like I should save it. I don't know. Maybe I should have used it. I don't know, whatever. Um, let's hit that. Warden ability. Hey, buddies, don't go over there. Come on, come on, back, back over here, back over here. So many of them, dude, so many. All right, did I get that? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's drop another heal spell because we got a bunch. This is really cool, man. It's hard to see what is going on. Let's zoom in here. But man, they're everywhere. Ho, ho, ho. Huh. You know, one thing to like about these is that they, well, I don't know if this is a plus or a con, but they look like normal barbs when they're on the playing field, right? They look like a, a little, little guy, but they're not. They're not a little guy at all, really. Cool. So yeah, do we mention this? You're gonna be able to donate these to your clan mates, which I think is cool. Maybe if, you know, if one person in your clan has these, you can try them out in your clan castle. And even if you're a town all nine, you can still get like six of them in your clan castle. I think that's gonna be big, dude. I really do. Like, I think we said earlier, these are probably gonna be good for clearing the corner, right? Because as soon as you drop them, as soon as they jump out, they're, they're, they're going to work. They're, they're in the raging, angry barbarian mode. They're, they're going hard. And in that, you know, eight seconds, you're gonna clear the corner of a base. You're gonna take out a town hall. You're gonna take out a, a, a hero or something. They're gonna be good, dude, for that first eight seconds. Yeah. Oh, that looks sick. I didn't realize they come out of that thing. What? <laughs> they go in and they come out? Oh my God, I didn't realize that. <laughs> and this trader guy has nothing to say about this. Just like these dudes are going in there, coming out completely different. Like what is good in there, homie? Why don't you walk in there and become super trader? Uh, I guess he's not into it. Guys, that's it for today. Basically, if you, you know, too long didn't read, super troops are gonna be cool. I think the, the one thing I don't like about them is that they're temporary. But besides that, hey, we'll see what they do, man. Cool.
Anyway, guys, if any new cool stuff, any new sneak peeks come out, we'll be telling you guys the minute they come out. So, uh, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let us know. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Same time, same place. We'll see you then, gang. Peace.